Hello, and welcome to what is the start of a new series called Paul's Pooples, in which you'll join me as I walk or cycle around various locations in Western Australia, and maybe further afield. At the moment, I'm sitting in a park in Cottesloe, Grants Marine Park, and I am going to be walking down the coastal path to the Vlaming Memorial. It's a four kilometer walk one way, eight kilometers return. At the memorial, if you don't wish to do the walk back, you can just cross the road and catch the train back to Cottesloe. I hope you enjoy this and it's a beautiful day, so let's get started. Think beach, think Norfolk Pines. You must be thinking about Cottesloe. Internationally famous for its beach, laid-back lifestyle, and its marvellous Indian Ocean sunsets. Now, contrary to what your history teacher taught you in school, the first European visitors to Australia were the Dutch in 1697, when Wilhelm de Vlaming and his three ships made a brief stopover. They were looking for the ship and the crew of a Dutch East Indies ship and in the process discovered the southwest of Western Australia and called it New Holland. They were here for just about a week and in that time they had a bit of an explore. One party went down the river as far as present day Dalkeith, another got as far as Harrison Island. They named the river the Black Swan River after the swans they saw here. And now we have the Vlaming Memorial which is what we are walking to on this walk to celebrate that. After the Dutch came the French in 1801 and they also explored the Swan River. It wasn't until 1829 that the British finally arrived but it wasn't until 1886 when the district was named Cottesloe. Soon after, with sea breezes being considered good for the constitution, Cottesloe began to ex attracts tourists and the beach lifestyle was born. Over the intervening years between then and now, Cottesloe has become synonymous with a relaxed beach lifestyle and walking along the beachfront is a fantastic way to enjoy it. As an aside, every year Cottesloe Beach hosts Sculpture by the Sea in March. And this walk would be an ideal way of seeing the exhibition. Well, here I am at the end of our walk at the Vlaming Memorial. And there's not much to see of the memorial. It's been vandalized to buggery, as is the usual want these days for kids. Um, but it's been a great walk. And, uh, you know, if you're in the area of Cottesloe any time, uh, give it a go. Pick a nice day, preferably a sunny day in summer and uh, come along for a nice four kilometer walk that's if you want to finish here and nip across the roads to the uh, station and catch the train back to Cottesloe as starting point if you want to walk back to Cottesloe well it's another four kilometers down the path you've just come anyway thanks for joining me on this and I look forward to your company on other journeys shortly thank you very much